Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So I'm coming on guys, it is Saturday and it's, it is 5.20. I wanted to get dinner start, started earlier, but it didn't happen that way. Um, anyway, um, so it's just me and Bill tonight, Frankie's out. And so we're making dinner now. We were gonna make, I, I had a craving for like Frankfurters with beans, baked beans today. But then when I went to, when I stopped at ShopRite, the lady, there was some lady and she was, she was making, um, she was uh, giving out samples of um, fish tacos. And I tasted it and I was like, oh my God, that's, guess what? Guess what? That's what we're having for dinner tonight. So anyway, so we're having fish tacos tonight. So I bought the stuff that I needed for that. I'm just gonna, I'm opening up a can of this, um, of this chicken for Cooper because I have chicken that's in my pot that, um, that I, you know, made for him the other day, but I, I haven't gotten it out and, and deboned it yet. So right now, um, I'm doing this. I'm gonna open up a can instead. Um, what I have to do actually, is I gotta put in, oh shoot. Did we, Phil, did we put everything downstairs? The, the, the vegetables? What, honey? The vegetables, did I put them downstairs? I need his carrots and... I know, why did I do that? What do you need? What do you need? Um, get one bag of um, carrots and one bag of um, Squash or sweet potato, it doesn't matter. One of one carrot and one of something else. I put all the vegetables downstairs. Should have left. I only left peas and carrots up here. Come on, really? God darn it. Yeah, the only thing I have made for him is rice that I made the other, I made yesterday. So anyway, so I have um, this chicken here. One can. Woo! But a lot of um, juice in there. I like the juice in here though because I like to keep it nice and moist for him. For a speeding ticket? Yep. They arrested him. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's getting out. You know, it's kind of the out, but it's not ridiculous. I mean, really. There's, there's, bigger, there's bigger fish to fry. But, you know, that's what happens. You know, the personal trainer is a good kid. Aw. You know? Yeah. They said to him, what did you learn from this experience? He goes, not mix up your court date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It was funny because you're sitting there in the holding area mm -hmm. and a fight broke out. Yeah. And you can see his face. He's like, I don't belong here. Oh, God. She was like freaking out. Yeah, because, you know. Yeah, you can see it in his face. Uh, instead they of. They said to him, What are you going to do when you get out of here? He goes, Go see my dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have had him get that stuff from downstairs because I remember to have vegetables in this pot here. Okay. The case was dismissed in court. Yeah, of course it was. When he went back.
That's ridiculous. I mean, I understand the law is the law, but you know. I know, but that's kind of ridiculous. Like I said, the kid was in trouble all the time. He's a good kid. Yeah. Okay, so I got some carrots here, guys. Make sure there's no bones because I took this out. Of it. I took some of it out of the. Um. Guys, comment down below what you guys are having for dinner. We're gonna have fish tacos, and guess what I'm making? Also, guys, I'm making, you know, from Outback or from Texas Roadhouse. From Texas Roadhouse, they call it the cactus blossom, and from um, Outback, they call it the the blooming onion. So we're making the Texas Blossom. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so let's get Cooper's food ready. Yeah. We'll give Cooper his food and then we'll work on our food. <laughs> So it gets about a cup, I would say about a cup of the vegetables and chicken, and then he'll, um, he'll get like a half a cup of rice, so. a little bit more. I always feel like it's never enough, like I don't give him enough food, but uh, he gets plenty of food. He's well fed. All right, I'm gonna put this in the microwave just to take the chill out. Just to take the chill And what I'm gonna start with, guys, is I'm gonna start with, um, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm going to start with uh, making the, um, the horseradish. It's a, it's, a, it's a cactus blossom sauce. What was this? What did I do with this? Um, for the blooming onion. You know, the onion thing. Cactus onion. So I'm going to be making that first because that's going to take a few that's going to take a, um, a few minutes in the refrigerator to like tripped, to get um, a little chill so we're going to do that first all right so uh, oh I'm using this for that that's what I'm doing why is this what's, this what's on this why does this look like there's something in it did I use the wrong one no this I'm gonna make the um, the sauce. Cooper's foodie daddy. My arm hurts, but it's better. But oh my god, last night, guys, I was in such pain. I didn't know what was going on. I thought I had to go to the hospital. I'm not even kidding. The pain in my arm was so bad, I was crying. It took me, and then I took Motrin, and it just took forever to work. It was not good. I don't know. I feel like this isn't enough. I'm going to give him a little bit more of this. Alright. Ow. Oh, that hurts a little. 
All right. So he's got carrots, he's got sweet potatoes, and rice, and chicken. Now, this isn't gonna take. This is not a, a, a you know a, a time-consuming meal. I mean, just the uh, just gotta do the onion, which the onion's gonna go in the air fryer right after it's done. So, yeah. All right. Clean this up now. Now I'm gonna make it. Uh, I'm gonna use the recipe. Um that I have off of Pinterest because I want to make it like, I want to make it like that because my husband liked the, um, he liked the, um, the heat content of it because he doesn't really like spicy, but um, this was like perfect, he said. So let's do this. All right, so the recipe is for the, for the horseradish sauce, what? I like what? You like the, um, this the the cactus sauce oh, at Texas Roadhouse. Did you say so? You didn't. I didn't say I didn't. Wonder. Wonder who you oh. All right. So, okay. So for the, the 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 chili horseradish sauce, it's one cup of mayonnaise. Cup of mayonnaise. Al. All right, one cup of mayo, one cup of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. This sauce for a lot of stuff, not just the not just the uh, the cactus onion. You could dip chicken in it. You could dip, you know. Yeah. Can you zip it? No. I love my husband, but sometimes he can be a little obnoxious. All right, one cup of mayo. Oh darn it! You're funny. You're funny. Okay, one cup of sour cream. Oh in the thing. So. You're a comedian. You're a comedian, all right. So I think this is going to be perfect. The amount of sour cream that I have in here is going to be perfect amount for this. Oh my God, look at that. That's because you're perfect. Could I, tr I couldn't even have done that if I tried. That's really? you're perfect. Oh yeah. You're perfect, Felito. Perfect. Ow. My arm hurts. Why? Oh. All right. All right. God darn it, I keep losing this friggin' recipe. It just keeps going off. All right, one cup sour cream, one cup mayo, a fourth a cup, one fourth cup of chili sauce. All right. Um, let me get my fourth cup here. What are you doing, silly? Uh, here, here. All right, one fourth cup of chili sauce. That's a lot of, that's a lot of chili sauce. 
it's a cup, right? One cup, one fourth cup of prepared chili sauce, yeah. You got chili sauce? Mm hmm. And then, oh my lord, then it is a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, okay, why is it a fourth a teaspoon? He literally just let himself, he literally just opened up the gate and now he's stuck in the back room. <laughs> what are you doing? Woo! Where is it now? I just got to had it. All right, one second, Cooper. I'm not going to put the whole fourth piece in there because I don't know. All right, go ahead, cutie. All right. How did I love you? All right, oh, and then two tablespoons of horseradish. I don't know if I should put two because, well, I, I, it might be really hot because this is hot horseradish. I think I'm going to put one and we'll see what happens because it's got the cayenne in here too. And that's it. And then you mix it up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, smells amazing. Zip it. I'm gonna throw something at you. I'm gonna throw me a hamburger. I'm hungry. All right, this spoon is not cutting it. First of all, let's taste it. It definitely needs. It needs salt. That's the first thing. And secondly, it definitely needs a little bit more horseradish. That's the third thing. And Taste it. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. That tastes like exactly like the Texas Roadhouse. I'm not even kidding. 
just tweak it a little bit. Ow. No, I think it needs a little bit more cayenne. And I feel like it's missing salt. That's really good. And it has just enough kick to it. Just enough kick. If I put any more, I think it'll be too much for my husband and for myself. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more of that in though, just a little bit. Because this isn't the spicy part. Sweet chili sauce, guys, it's so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the top on this. We're going to put it in the fridge and let it chill. What are you doing? You got your toy? You got your toy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that is so good. sauce is so freaking good. Oh my god. Give me that toy. Give mommy that toy. I'm going to get that toy from you. I'm going to get it. Alright, so that's all done. Alright, let's get started now on um, we got to get the onion going. The fish tacos, all I have to do with that is I'll cut up some tomatoes. I have some um, lettuce. Onion. Onion and um and and the fish just has to go in the in the in the air fryer for like ten minutes. So that's really uh, not to you know, nothing big. Um what I do is I have to get the onion together first because the onion is the is the biggest thing. Alright, so there's two batters now. It's a seasoned flour and also it there's an onion batter. Go, oh, oh, Bill, shoot. You, mm. All right, I'm, I'll go down and get it, because I need that. Remember, I need the beer. <laughs> All right, in the fridge in the back. Oh, in the, in the fridge? Yeah. Oh, okay. All the way in the back, there should be a bottle. All right, good. I don't know if I can reach it, but yeah. Hold on. Am I bothering you? Yeah, you are. Well, I'm sorry. Well, you should be. You're lucky you're married to an alcoholic. A what? You're lucky you're married to an alcoholic. I have a beer. Okay. I'm kidding around. I'm kidding around. He's, he's teasing, guys. I'm kidding. Um. It's on the counter. I took a sip. All right. 
But I only like the first taste of beer. But I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I'm not going to have any. Um, okay. All right, guys. This is so annoying. Um, all right, let's do the flour. We'll do the seasoned flour first. So one cup of flour... Two teaspoons of paprika. Let's watch this quick. All right, so we gotta put one cup of flour in here. What do you got? One cup of flour. Um, two teaspoons of paprika. I'm not going to measure right now. One, two. Um, one teaspoon of sugar. What are you doing, crazy boy? Where is the sugar shaker? Big container out for that, you know what I mean? So it's one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of garlic powder. So there's about a teaspoon. One teaspoon of garlic powder and one a half a teaspoon of some black pepper. So we'll just that's about a half a teaspoon. What just went in there is about a half a teaspoon. Um okay. So I got everything in there. Did I put salt in here? I think I did, right? They asked, did it ask for salt? No, it didn't ask for salt. It didn't, but I'm going to put a little bit of salt in. All right. Oh, I got to get the onion because I'm supposed to, I think I'm supposed to soak the onion or something. Um... All right, let's do the batter now. Three-fourths cup of flour. Mm. 
three-fourths cup of flour. I gotta go in the back and get more freaking garlic powder. Three-fourths, so I need one tall for the... I'm gonna go in the back and get garlic powder because I ran out of it up here, in here, and I didn't get another one. How much garlic powder did, did it ask for? One teaspoon. Okay, one teaspoon. One tablespoon of paprika. Every time I put something on my phone, I have my, it's on my phone, on my camera, and it goes off like in two freaking seconds. It's so obnoxious. Okay, one tablespoon of paprika, three-fourths teaspoon of pepper. Oh, just put a little. Um, a, an eighth teaspoon cayenne pepper. I'm only going to put a little bit of cayenne because we have cayenne. Um, in the sauce, so a little. That's it. All that she's gonna call for. Come on, you stupid earth. Um. Oh, one and a half cups of cornstarch. One and a half cups of cornstarch. This is a cup. Ooh. <laughs> Not very good measuring, am I? Is it? Right, one. One and a half. One and a half cups of cornstarch. I need a half now. Look at my look at my shirt. Really? Come on, knucklehead, Linda. I need a, um an apron on my sleeve, I guess. <laughs> Only me. Only me. He's singing again, again, guys. a lot of cornstarch, isn't it? All right. Half a cup, a cup and a half of cornstarch. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, then... Um, a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, one teaspoon of garlic salt. Do I even have garlic salt? I know I have garlic salt, I'm pretty sure. But why do they ask for garlic salt if you're having, of course now, you know, because I, I need the garlic salt, I'll never see it. I know I have it because I have it in here because I never use it. 
it's very potent, so I don't really use it. Here we go. See? Told ya. Ow. Whenever I do a lot with my arm, it hurts. I don't want to be in pain like I was last night. I really thought I was going to die last night. It was so painful. Um, one teaspoon of garlic salt and then 12 ounces of beer. Okay. 12 ounces of beer. Just what you drank, you left me just enough. Alright. 12 ounces of beer. Okay. It says to whisk this well until smooth. I think I might need a little bit more beer. It was a little bit short. I didn't take a sip, you took a sip. Took a little yeah, sip. You, you, you shortened me now. Now we gotta open up a whole nother bee, you gotta drink it. Sorry. It was your fault. Yeah, I definitely need a little bit more beer. It's way too thick. Three, two, six. All right. Oh, he's going to have to give this mix for me because I, I just can't. I can't physically do it with my right hand. I just can't. I, I'm, I'm not good at my left hand. There you go, Linda. Thanks, Billy. So fresh. <laughs> Can you give this a little whisk for me? Sure, I'll do everything. Thanks, let me get an onion while you're Gotta do everything. Carefully, don't splatter. Um, I left an onion out here last night for my burger. Honey, there's nothing left. It was all scraps. I threw it in the garbage. It wasn't even an onion. Sorry. So use me to do all the hard work. Hi, people. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I don't know if this is good or not. That's what you want, yellow. You don't want a red onion for this. No. Yeah, I do. It says sweet. Come on. It says sweet or yellow onion. Right, yellow onion. Sweet Vidalia, or you can use a yellow, but they don't recommend using a yellow. But oh. that's what we got. So right. <laughs> guess what? It wasn't a red onion last week. On your arm. It wasn't red onion. What are you talking about? I'm not using red onion. 
I, I know. I don't know what you what you're talking about. I thought you said that it was a red onion. Rice. No, I didn't say that. Ow. I'm sorry. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. I think that's plenty. That that was about the twelve ounces. Thank you, Bill. Welcome in. Uh -huh. Hello. So these onions aren't very big, so I'm gonna make two. All right, let's get rid of this crap. I'm gonna drink some freaking beer. Ew, I don't like that deer at all. That's what I like. Ugh. I like Budweiser or, or Coors Light. Don't like all it. You do is complain. All right, so let's get this onion together now. Um, slice three fourths inch off of the root end of the onion. Make 12 to 16 slices into the trimmed end working in a clockwise, oh my God, a clockwise manner. Do not cut completely through the onion, leaving about an inch of uncut onion near the opposite root end. I'm so confused. Don't ask me. I, I, you don't understand. I, I gotta read something five times before I can comprehend it. And then I got like a minute before it's, it's lost again. <laughs> It's not even funny. Okay, it's scary. All right, so guys, you understand that? Slice three fourths inch off the root end of the onion. Make twelve to sixteen slices. All right, first I gotta peel it, right? Gotta peel it first. Do I do I slice it first? Yeah. All right, let's peel it first. This is gonna be really good if I ever get this. If I ever get it, um, <laughs> ever get it done. Why is it such a glare? Get a paper dish to get all the scraps. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Can you comment down below what, where that song is from? I think you know. I think it was. It was a popular show in the 80s to 90s. to sing, guys, as you can see. Like I'm saying goodbye. Every mistake. I won't take you for granted. All right, so then it says, right, remove. Okay. Make 16, okay. All right, cut, slice three fourths inch off the root end of the onion. Okay, this is the, what's the root end, this end? I 
think that's the root end, right? Let me um, sharpen my knife. Just to be careful. You know, just to be sure. This is the root, yeah, that's the root. Okay, so slice three-fourths inch off of it. I don't know if that's three-fourths inch. Okay, then it says, doo -doo 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 -doo, make 12 to 16 slices into the trimmed end working in a clockwise manner. So clockwise is this way, right, Belle? Mm -hmm. Clockwise, because I'm really not all there. Yeah, but it's this way or this way? So this way, you work. So this is your work. Right, this is my right. Yeah, okay. All right. So make 16 slices into the trimmed end working in a clockwise position manner clockwise manner do not cut completely through the the onion okay like this i don't know is this how i'm supposed to do it or like this i don't know bell come here what so it says make 12 to 16 slices into the trimmed end of working in a clockwise manner. Okay, do I do it like all, this or first, do I do it? What? You need to hold her, honey. Where's yeah, the, you gotta cut it first. No, you put it in here to cut it. Where is the what thing? What are you talking about? It doesn't say that. It does. It shows it on the video. Oh. See how it shows it in there? You cut the bottom. Oh, okay. You stick it in there, you cut it, and you do oh, that, and then you do that. Oh, that's what makes it easy. Now this, I don't know what this is for. Well, what does it say? We showed it on that video. So I do I let me see the picture. What's this is cutting here? I know, so I put this side in like yes. this? No, no, the other way. The other way. What do you mean? Like this? Yeah, yeah. Like Why that. like that? Because that's the way it shows them to do it. I don't know if you're right. See it's flat. It's flat, honey. It's flat. Well that doesn't look flat to me. I gotta do everything. I think it's the other way. Because that side is flat. One second. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you're right. I, I don't know. I've never done this. Well, let me look and make sure because we can't do it wrong. This is wrong. I'm telling you this is All wrong. right. So put it the other way then. <clears throat> Two slices using the guy. Remove the top a half of the onion. All right. It doesn't have to sit perfectly flat. All right. Okay. And then you, but it's shown, I don't know how to do this. I really okay. don't. Okay. You're not supposed to slice right through it I'm though. I'm not slicing all the way through it. It's a clockwise, right? This one. Yeah. Let me, let me get more angle here. One inch, okay. Then remove about one inch of the pe center petals from each onion. Toss the onion in the seasoned flour. All right, so I take it out of here. Say that again. I take it out of here. No, say what you just read again. I want to make sure. Remove about one inch of the center petals from each onion. Is that what that's for? Can you give me one minute before you do anything else? Okay. No, I, because there's a video on Amazon oh. on the thing. That's what I told uh. you.
skin's a little thick. Give me that beer. I want to put just a drop of more in here. Isn't there directions in the Scott Cinema? No, they don't come in any directions. How do you do sell something and don't have directions? Because that's the way Amazon is. Stupid. Right, we oh. did it that way. Take it out and open it. What? I, I need to stuff Slow down. Apart. Slow down. Oh, you see what that thing does? It opens it up, and you. I didn't see them remove anything. Yet. Okay. Okay. One more time. They didn't remove anything. No, they, they didn't remove anything. They just anything. put it in there. They just opened it. Wait, 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 wait. See, that's what that thing in the middle is for okay. at the end. All right. All right, so, so I... Take it out. Well, I don't want to put it in the thing yet because I, I can't put it in yet because I have to get the fish going. No, flip it over. Flip it over. There you go. Now you have to, you know, spread it. Because you're going to want your batter and stuff in between. Right, So you okay. have to open it up a little bit. Oh, okay. So it said like to remove show. a couple nah. of... It said that's what Oh, okay, said okay, okay. I was going by the video. Recipe. I was going by the video. All right, let's do the next one. Because we we're going to do two. Because one isn't going to cut it. You think one's enough or not? I don't know. You tell me. It's me and you eating it. Should have did it the other way because you see, I think it's supposed to sit the other way. No, I did it just the way the video just showed a second ago. Woo. It's a strong ass onion, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It says something about on the recipe to put it in cold water and it'll open up. Oh, chill the onion in ice water after slicing to keep the petals to get the, to help them open more. Drain the onion very well before flowering. Should I do that or should you think I should not do that? Well, do you feel like you need to open it more or not? I mean, I don't know. Oh, you cut too far down and it completely... Listen. The whole outside just came off of one of them. The whole thing. I ruined the whole thing? Yeah, I didn't say you ruined the whole... You're such a brat. Oh, I asked you. I didn't say you ruined it. I said you you cut through it. No, I can't cut that part though. Because he he, he had it, he should have did it that way. Exactly. I don't know how this one's gonna stay. No, I'm not gonna put them in water. This one is all falling apart. The first one or second one? Second one. All right, we're just gonna use this one. We'll, 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 we'll do this. We'll utilize this one too. It just won't, it'll be different. That's all right. All right, let's, um, let's get the, the fish out so we can get the fish going in the toaster. I just gotta cut up tomatoes. All right, so. Um, one is probably enough. You wanna use the other one just to dice tomatoes and dice the onion. Yeah. All right, guys, let's see. All right, we can bake this for 14 to 16 minutes, or we can air fry it um, to 10 to 12. Place four frozen fish fillets in an air basket. Fry fillets at 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, perfect. What do, what do you think you want to do with these, with the blue and onion? Shall we put it in oil on the stove? I mean, you can put it in the air fryer too, but I'm going to be making the, the fish in the air fryer. I'll do it the stove. All right. All 
right, guys. So let's do this. Um, there's never any freaking butter in my dish when I need it. It's so annoying. I had this um, avocado oil. Oh my God, Linda. So I'm just gonna spray this with that so it doesn't stick. How, um, I'm trying to think how many I'm gonna make. Uh, well, we're having tacos, so. Oh, they're not very big. I'll make five. I think five should be enough. All right, we're gonna have to get a little pot with oil for this thing. All right, um, so let's, you think five of these are enough? How many are you gonna put in each taco? I mean, I think like a half of a one or a half of one. Yeah, that should be enough, right? Whatever you think, honey. Uh, he is no. I don't know how big they are. So I'm not going to put it on yet because I want to get the oil heated up. I hope I have enough freaking oil. another freaking vegetable oil because if I don't we're really in big trouble then we're gonna have to put it in the air fryer I really hope I do I had it. I knew I did. I'm going to have to reuse this oil because I, I can't stand using all this oil. I think that's going to be enough. What do you think? So we're gonna let that heat up. Let's see. Um, let me see something. Make sure the onions are well coated with the seasoned flour. Let the exact the excess batter drip off to avoid a heavy greasy coating. Fry the onions in batches to maintain the oil temperature. What should the temperature be? <laughs> 
one at a time into the hot oil, about 90 seconds, flip and cook for an additional 90 seconds. But it doesn't say what the temperature of the oil should be. Oh, 375. 375 to 400, okay. All right, so we gotta let this heat up, guys. All right, let me clean up here and I'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm gonna cut this. I'm cutting up um, some tomato, guys. I had to sharpen this knife and use this knife because the other knife is just not cutting it. So we're gonna cut this up small. I'm just gonna do the one onion and I'm gonna use this one for tacos. And one tomato should be plenty for me and him. And a trick to do with your tomatoes, especially in the winter, um, is to put a little, after you cut them, put a little salt on them because it brings out the flavor and it also brings out the, you know, the juices a little bit. Ow, it hurts everything to, to do my arm, like my, my shoulder, it hurts. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna check that oil in a minute. As soon as that oil is, is ready, a couple, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually put the, fish on now. The fish is only going to take about 10 minutes. So what did it say? Uh, 375 on air fry. Let's do yeah, a little 10 minutes. All right. So we're going to, so we got this for the, um, this for the tacos. We'll just keep it right here. So we don't have to be messing up any other things. There's no reason. I had red onion in there, but since I already cut this one, I'm gonna also just use it. And I could actually stick this in there too. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that part of that onion too. It doesn't have to be exactly like, you know, a blooming blossom onion or whatever. All right, so that I can hear the oil starting to get a little hot now. All right, so what we're gonna do. Let's check this again. And let me just read this again. Because you know, I told you, I gotta read it over and over because I just don't comprehend anything. All right, uh, combine, um, okay. Ah. Okay, toss the onion in the seasoned flour to coat well, peel back the petals slightly to allow the flour to reach between each petal but do not remove. Combine remaining flour, okay. And then dip the floured onion in the batter. Allow excess batter to drip off the onion using a fryer basket or whatever to carefully place. Do, 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 okay. All right, guys, did you, did you get all that? <laughs> Lord in heaven. All right, so let's put this, let's put this over here. Come on, come on, buddy. Now I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna have this this stuff left over. I'm definitely gonna utilize it, like, cause I'm not gonna waste all that freaking batter. I'll use that batter. Right, let's check this and see what the what the freaking temperature is. Alright, it's saying. It's right now it's saying 350 and it's supposed to be, I think 375 to 400. Oh, my arm is killing me. All right, so another couple of minutes and this will be ready. Let's do this while we're waiting for that to be ready. All right, so it says stick this in here. You guys can see what's going on here. I'm going to use this got to the mama thing to, um, to put it in there. Let's bring this here so you can see. All right. So it says to dip this in and get all the, 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 the inside of the, 
of the um, of the onion, you know, floured. So that's what I'm doing. See, it says open it up a little bit and spread the things. I'm just afraid I'm gonna break it. That's all right. I think it'll be okay. That's all right. That's okay. I'm just gonna lay it in here and then just. Make sure it's all, they're all in the crevices. Reminds me of an artichoke. I don't know if you've ever had stuffed artichokes. I'm going to make that one day. Oh, God, a stuffed artichokes is so good. I don't know if you've ever had it, but it's so delicious. That's what it reminds me of. All right, so it says, um, all right. So to make sure it's all coated, spread the, it says spread the thingies out to make sure, so. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's it right there. I'm gonna put it here. Let me check that again to see. All right, there we go. All right, let's just see again. Cook for night and use it for a fire. Guys, to carefully use it one at a time into the hot oil. Cook for about 90 seconds. Flip and cook for about another 90 seconds. All right. Okay, guys. Are we ready for the party? The cactus party. <laughs> the cactus onion. I just want to make sure that it, it is floured enough because I'll be really upset if this doesn't come out good. All right, guys. Oh, well, what we're going to do is we're going to dip it in this. It's over here. It goes out of the freaking way. All right. All right. There we go. So we're going to dip it. Dip it in the batter. Ooh. So I'm dipping it in carefully. And then it says to get off all the excess, all the excess, you know, not all of it, but let it drip. This is, this is messy, guys. And then put it in here for 90 seconds and then flip it. All right. Let's just rip some of it more off of it. All right. Alexa, set the timer for 90 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. Oh, I should have used that little basket thing. I was supposed to use that. See where a dinkleberry I am? See how I forget things, guys? It's a little scary, isn't it? All right, let's see. All right. 90 seconds. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I'm so excited. Mm. 
This is exciting. Ow. Any second, it should be going off. Alexa, stop. Alexa, set the timer for 90 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. All right, guys, I'm excited about this. My ear hurts. Let's get the plate out. Let's get the freaking plate out. Let's check the fish quick. Let's check the fish quick while we're waiting. That's looking good. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this meal. This is going to be so awesome. I love creating new meals in the kitchen, guys. Love it. You know it. You know it. You know it. All right, so let's see. Alexa, stop. All right, guys. Oh my goodness, it looks like a big ball. Doesn't really look like an onion, like a looming onion, but I think it will once it cools a little bit. Salt it. Look at that. I guess people put it in a, they put it in a bowl. Oh no, they're gonna put, they put it on a plate and then what they do is they use, so then it says to use that little thingy, to use this, right? That's what it says. So Bill, I use this thing to like push it down in the middle? That's what it shows, yeah. I want it to break though. I feel like it's very flowery still in the. And then, this is so annoying here. Let's do this. Should we put it in here or should we put it in here? Let's shut the fish off. The fish is definitely done. There's the fish. I mean, I don't know. It looks very flowery inside of it. I 
I wonder if it's cooked enough. I think I should put it in for another minute. Because I feel like it's not. So I'm afraid it's going to. Phil, come here a second. See, guys? Does it look like it's cooked all the way through? I mean, I cooked it like they said. Matter. Say, mm. but it, you think that's cooked enough? No, I think you're. No, I gotta think. I gotta put it in there another that's minute, right? Cool. And I cooked it like they said, but I'm gonna wait for the oil to heat up in a minute or two, and then I'm gonna put it in for another minute or two. Yeah, I think you should. Have, yeah, there should be no flour. In there. Right, there should be no flour in there. Right. Alright, I'm gonna wait another minute and then I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put the um the onion back in and I'm gonna turn it over and put it in because it shouldn't be like that. Flour shouldn't be seen, you know what I mean? Seen, you know what I mean? Alright, so let's let's um get organized here. Keep this over here. Alright, we have the um I wanna um Take another cutting board and we'll take the avocado cutting board. All right, guys, let's put this back in now. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in. I'm just going to throw it in like this. I'm going to throw it in here. For Alexa, set the timer for 90 seconds. Alexa, set the timer for 90 seconds. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. I'm just lowering the flame a little bit because I don't want it to get crazy. I don't want it to burn, you know what I mean? So here is the, the fish. Uh, if I don't have this freaking thing on, on the big thing, I need it on the big thing. If I, if I have it on the big thing, then on the tall tripod, I don't need it on the tripod. All right, I think I'm going to take it out because I don't want to, I think it's, I don't want it to burn. I'm afraid it's going to burn if I do that. Yeah, there we go. I think that's good. Yep. Perfect, guys. Perfect. So this I'm going to freaking keep because I'm going to make more of this. I'm not wasting this. I'm going to make some more blooming onions, definitely. Let's put this over here. Do that tomorrow and make some uh, shrimp rolls. Not, yeah, the oil, the oil, and I'm talking about the, um, the batter. Oh, okay. I can make some regular onion rings, too, with it. Yeah. Regular onion rings, you know. All right, so we're going to cut this. Alexis, that. Mm. So I guess we'll cut the, I'm going to cut them in strips, and then we can use them how we want to use them. Mm. These look so yummy. They're crispy. Woo! This is so exciting. Alright. Alright, guys, let's get the sauce. It's not gonna look perfect because it's, you know, it's homemade, but I don't care. Alright, honey, we're gonna eat in a minute. Alright, so we just gotta make up our tacos. I'm gonna put this. 
um, do we have that little black thing up here? That little black. What are you looking for? The little black little Let me look. cup thing. Let me look. I'm sorry. You stepped on my foot. What do you need to black in for? for the, I want to put the, the, the sauce in there. I mean, I had so many of those. Yeah, this. No, uh, I, I, I need a small thing to fit in the got to the mama thing. Thank you. Got to the mama? Mm -hmm. Got to the mama? I should have bought those goddamn things today. Well, you should have. Yeah, well, now it's too late, isn't it? Now it's too late, isn't it? Flour everywhere. Got to the mama. Got to the mama. We're both crazy. We're both crazy people. Oh my God, this looks so freaking amazing. Ooh. Guys, look at this shit. Guys, look at this. Blooming onion. Trying to get it off before he comes out. So it's not perfect, you know. It doesn't like come out perfect. Like really? Come on. This is annoying. What? I can't get it out right. What? But oh, look at it. I want to take a picture of it. Oh, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't leave it in a bowl. It's what? in a big thing. That's what they put it on. They put it in a, it was okay. in a bowl. Okay, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't say it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Need... Let's get our tacos ready, and then we'll show our food, guys. Can try these? All right, people, here it is. Here's my taco, and here is my blooming onion or cactus onion. It's so good. Next time, I'll make sure I get more of the flour down. I didn't get it as far down as I should have, but it's still delicious. Mm -hmm. It's still, still delicious. I'm going to turn you around and taste the taco for you. All right, so let's close this up. This is going to be messy. But I don't care. All right. Mmm. Guys. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Bill, this is so good. I know, I said that. Mm. The onion. You know what we did? We took the sauce, the blooming, I keep calling it blooming onion, cactus onion, whatever, it's from this onion. and we fried onion. We put it on the on the tortilla, tortilla, whatever the heck it is. It's so good. Hear that crunch? Oh my god! Gotta make this, guys. You gotta. So cheap, too. All right. I'm going to eat. I'm going to be back with my empathy quote in a minute. Mm-mm-mm.